Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to operate this Cub Cadet mower. It's an LT 42 inch signature cut XT1. It's got an 18 horse Kohler Courage engine. This is kind of what the control panel looks like. But if you've ever tried to go in reverse and the engine dies, or if you want to keep the blades engaged, I'm going to kind of explain these controls to you and also it has a there's a micro switch in the seat so anytime there's the micro switch anytime you get off the seat the engine dies but there is a way to keep it running I'm going to show you how to do that so probably I don't know 10 10 years ago they started making these mowers extremely safe um, it may, basically disengages and dies once you get off of it they don't like you going in reverse with the blades running so first the way you're going to start it up is this is the throttle level and so there's slow there's slow there's fast but there's another detent that's choke so you do have to choke it when you first start it and then you're just going to push it down to fast and you do have to be seated in it for it to crank over see nothing's happening okay i'm sitting in it still nothing happening i gotta push my foot on the brake and now I gotta push this lever up to choke and turn this to start. Once it starts, push this down to fast. I can let my foot off, I can tone it down to slow. Okay, so again, in order to start it, you gotta be seated and you gotta push the brake pedal in. Now I can go forward and reverse. That's the reverse pedal, that's the forward pedal. Now, if I get off the mower, it dies. But if we set the parking brake, it won't die. Okay, so it's working. I'm gonna set the, this is the parking brake. I'm gonna push that in. This is the parking brake lever. I'm gonna hold that down. It should stay. The parking brake's gonna stay down. Now, I can get off the mower and it stays running. I can't start it or anything, but at least it stays running if you gotta get something. Okay, so now the next thing, let's take the parking brake off. Again, we can go forward and we can go back. Now let's engage the mower. This is a manual PTO. When we push this down, now my blades are turning. Now I can go forward, but if I go back, killed the engine and turned the blades off. They don't want you doing that, but they do give you a special feature that I'm gonna show you how to use to keep the blade and the engine running. Okay, so in order to start it, we gotta disengage the PTO, push the brake in. My engine's running, okay. So now what I wanna do is I wanna turn this switch to this position. I want to press this button. That light's going to come on. That's important. Now, when I engage, now my blades are turning. I can go forward. I can go back now. The blades do not turn off and the engine doesn't stop as long as that light is on. But I cannot get I cannot get off the mower. Once I get off the mower, everything dies. So they still don't want you getting off the mower with the blades running. So I gotta turn my switch to off, disengage the PTO, brake, start. Let me show you that again. Turn the switch to this position, press the button. Red lights on. I can engage deck I can go forward I go back this is how I adjust the height so let me disengage if I want the mower to go down see how my deck's going down I can really mow really close or really high I can I can engage the blades and you're, you're engaging the blades with the belt so just do it nice and slow see that's really low 
Now, I've got the engine really low. When you mow, you should be at that detent right there. That's choke. We don't want that. So that detent, that's where you should mow. That gives the engine the best performance and makes the blades move the fastest. When you're done, just turn it to stop and the engine will stop. This thing does have headlights. Now some of the old mowers would have a headlight switch. This, they're on all the time, they're LED. That's really nice. So again, let's go over starting. If it's cold out, you're gonna go to here, then one, you gotta go, that's called choke, choke. You're gonna press the gas pedal in. I don't need to choke mine because it's already warmed up. So again, off there. That's run, but we need to go to start. So let's just talk about the brake for a second. So the brake is if you're on a hill. The brake just stops it. You need to, you need to push it in to, to, to start it. If, if you find yourself coasting or going backwards or something and you need to stop, that's the brake. Otherwise, the hydrostat works pretty good. That's forward and that's back. Again, when you press the back, this comes back. And definitely if you're parked on a hill, make sure you definitely push the brake in, push that down. That sets the parking brake. Now this thing has a lot more braking power. It's not going to roll down a hill. This is a very nice mower. Here's the gas cap. Here's the engine. Here's where you check oil. Lift that up. It's got a little gauge to check oil. Check out my video, I show you how to change oil. There's the, where the oil comes out. There's an air filter. Oh, what's really nice is, so this thing gives you all the spare parts. Really, really nice. And kind of shows you how the belt goes. But I do have a video on how to change the belt, how to sharpen the blades, how to take the deck off. They do give you some instructions down here. They can be a little confusing, but they are there and it is nice to have them there. It does have an hour meter. When you've got the engine running, it will be counting hours. And it does tell you the battery voltage. I didn't know that. When you first turn the key on, it tells you your battery voltage. That's interesting. And again, this is manual engagement. This is what starts the blades. And then you just stop the blades. And then this is lowers the deck. This deck can get really low. I usually mow around only one or two down. Here we have the seat, a very nice seat. There is the battery. Just takes a standard lawnmower battery. Here is the lever that you lift up. There's all the different seat adjustments. So you can move this seat forward by lifting this handle up. And you can see how much you can get. Now that can become stuck. It seems like those get rusted pretty easy. This is kind of your entry level mower not for a huge lawn. If you have to move the unit, like right now, so say I just want to push it into the shed. I can sort of push it, but it's still kind of engaged. If I pull this lever out, now it's disengaged and I can, I can push it in. I can push it really easy, but be careful. It could roll down a hill. Then you want to, to re-engage it. Otherwise, when you, when you start it up and press on the pedal, it's not going to go anywhere. So if you start it up, press on the pedal, and nothing happens, this lever is not engaged. So just all you gotta do is just push it in. There you go. Here we have the guard. It does have a mulching thing you can put across there to keep the grass clippings from coming out. This is what the front looks like. It's got a big muffler on the front. So the exhaust is right there. That's where, the, that's where the hot air comes out from the engine. So if you're mowing a bunch of leaves, don't get a bunch of leaves piled up around this area. I have seen mowers burned um, just because they caught on fire and then it catches the engine on fire. And you can open the hood and see, easily see how much gas you have. It's very nice. The hood just lifts up, okay? It does not held by a clip or anything. And the weight of it just kind of holds it down. So again, this is a very nice mower. I've got several other videos on this mower of how to service it. 
Again, this was made in 2016, this mower. It's 2021 right now, but it's been a very good mower. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.